Now that you've gone ahead and you've traced, cut your lines, you can see we've got some nice fletching here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to finish it up. I'm using electrical tape. You could use duct tape. You want to go and overlap the fletching on the bottom about an eighth of an inch. And what I'm doing actually is I'm imparting a little bit of a twist, if you can see a little bit of a twist to the fletching here. So this is the way I do it. I'm right-handed, so I go, I guess you'd call that counterclockwise. So if you're left-handed, you can go clockwise, however you like. This is what I find to be the best for me. And then you want to go on the top and you don't really need to overlap at all on this. You want to go in the opposite direction. And you want to bring your wrap up a little bit, if you can see. You actually want to wrap just underneath the knock. This is going to help reinforce the knock and keep it from splitting. Because the knot could split if you didn't reinforce it. Because it's just a notch in a piece of wood. So here we go. There's our finished fletching. You can see that. Okay, now our arrow is almost finished except for one main consideration, and that's the point. So there are a couple things you could do. One way you could do this, and if you're going to be shooting indoors at cardboard boxes, a good way to do it is to take a pencil sharpener and actually sharpen this point here. And then what you could do is heat it over a fire or with a heat gun just to char the wood and to reinforce that hardness. Give it a light sand and then you're good to go. You can shoot it into soft targets like cardboard boxes. And if it ever gets dull, you just put it in the pencil sharpener again and you're good to go. Now, what I'm going to be doing is if you wanted to use this as more of a stump shooting arrow outside, points tend to get lost. They like to bury themselves under grass and it's hard to find them. And just keeping the points dull like this, you know, they you can actually have breaks down the shaft. So what I like doing, you can pick up just about any uh, any spent round Make sure that it doesn't have any primer in it. So as long as it'll fit over the shaft, that's what you want to go. This is actually a uh, steel AK-47 round. What you want to do is you just want to force it over the end of the arrow. You could use glue, but after a couple of shots, this is going to be pretty much a permanent bond. So here we go. So this is this type of point is good for outdoors because it, it doesn't have a tendency to bury under things and if you're shooting this out of say a 40 to 50 pound bow it'll still stick in most targets so if you're shooting a cardboard or hay bale it'll stick in just fine so there it is here's your arrow and uh, just because I was gonna show you guys to finish with beeswax all you do is you take your beeswax and you just rub it up and down the arrow shaft. And you're just going to be getting a light coat of beeswax on here. Now I don't like doing it first because it, it makes it kind of hard for the tape to stick if you're using tape. And then get your knock area. And then what you do is you take a paper towel or a rag and you just go ahead and you buff it.
So there you go. Here it is. Our finished backyard shooting, our backyard fun arrow. So yeah. Now if you wanted to put this through a heavier bow, say over 60 pounds, say over 50 pounds, I would step up to a 3 8 inch dowel. This is a 5 16 inch dowel. And if you wanted to do for really small kids bows, you could use quarter of an inch as well. So there it is. Thanks for watching.